Howdy y'all, it is Cody from The Keepers Nerd and we are back at it for another Keyforge Winds of Exchange opening and this is exciting stuff. We'll, we'll get to it. I'm praying for more Sanctum and I want to see some Mars. Sanctum and Mars. So first off, our first decks has some cool stuff, but nothing crazy just yet. Um, we'll hide those there. Uh, Alright, here we go. Brobnar, Mars, and Star Alliance. Vibru... Vibriuth Matongne Newt Battle Troll. Okay. So basically, oh, it's a Brobnarm creature. I wanna see. Some little goblin. Yeah. I don't like that with the purple. Oh, uh, these new sleeve things did not work well. Alright, so we got that. We've got our Creature, token creature, skirmisher, skirmish, two power. Nice. That's good. Star Alliance, uplink. This creature gains action. Make a token creature for each of this creature's non Star Alliance neighbors. Awesome. Hmm. Weird. Teamwork action. Play, make a token creature. If there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, archive teamwork. Wow. That's cool. Just keeps going. Secure a droid, a taunt minion, and we played as an upgrade instead of a creature, and the creature gains taunt. Cool. Red alert, old card. If there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures when you play it, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. Red alert again. Recorded history. Oh, this is a pretty card. Play, reveal up to three cards of different houses from your hand. Archive each card, reveal this way. Of different houses. Huh. Interesting. Weird. Yeah. Friendly Guide, Alien, 3 power. That's creepy. <laughs> All right, Elusive. After you use one of Friendly Guide's neighbors, you may use Friendly Guide. Cool. So you put him by non-Star Alliance. Echo Reflector. Enhancement. This creature gains your opponent's keys cost plus 3. Nice. CPO Zytar. Alien Prox Proximan. Hmm, interesting. It's an Enhancer, 4-1. Good. Nurse Soto. <laughs> this is just a funny looking card. He's just girthy. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. He deploys. Play after fight and after reap. Heal three damage from each of Nurse Soto's neighbors. All that protein. That's a lot of healing. And he can just deploy. Oh my goodness. That's a ridiculous card. That Hold the line. Play if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures. Draw cards equal to the difference. Nice. Jeez. Crash Muldoon. Oh my gosh, this is like William Shatner all over. Uh, deploy Crash Muldoon. Enters play ready. Action. Use a neighboring non-Star Alliance creature. Three power. Nice. That's good. And that's that was a rare. Xanthus Harvester is back. He cannot be used while it has a non-Mars neighbor. After reap, gain one amber. Mix the Tall Minded. Your opponent's keys cost plus one amber for each friendly Mars creature in play. Your opponent's keys cost plus one amber for each friendly Mars creature in play. Please have lots of Mars creatures. We've got Santhus Harvester. That's a funny. <laughs> oh. Mark II Generator. Mark II Generator enters play ready. Action. Make a token creature. Which unfortunately is not a Brobnar creature. Um, hmm. Mark II Generator again. Interesting. And those are skirmishers? Man, that's going to make the Brobnar nasty as heck. Mars needs amber. This is an old card, but enhanced damage. Play each damage enemy non-Mars creature. Captures one amber from its own side. With the damage pip? So you damage them and you guarantee at least one capture. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. That's good. Another one. Another one. Kaboom with a draw card. Put each Mars creature into its owner's archives. Destroy each creature. Gain three chains. Could be good. Yeah, you just don't play your Mars creatures yet. And just wait. There's not very many Mars creatures in here, though. Nope. Um, Ironix Propaganda. Upgrade. This creature gains after fight, after reap, make a token creature. Dang. I like propaganda. Brain Dart. Play. Enrage an enemy creature. It captures one from its own side. <laughs> what is this Mars? Ammonia. Play. Deal three damage to each creature. Good. Zizok. All right, we're back to some creatures. Skirmish. 
three power, splash attack one, so he deals damage to his the things next to him, the, his target. After any creature is destroyed by Zizix, Zizok, splash attack damage, ready Zizok. So if his splash kills something, swap widget with a damage icon artifact. Return if ready friendly Mars creature to your hand. If you do, put a Mars creature with a different name from your hand into play, then ready it. Yeah. And that was the rare. Honestly, the Mars in here wasn't very good. Yeah. But that was cool. Shock Herder, again. Deploy, play, ready, and fight with a neighboring creature. Ragnarok prep, play, make a token creature. Then if you control more creatures than your opponent, your opponent loses two amber. I'm noticing there's a lot of cards now that go... If you have more creatures than your opponent, you gain something. Or if you have less creatures, you gain something. Because Starlight's already had some of that if you had less. But now, Brobnar seems to be if you've got more. Mm -hmm. And then some of the other cards in Star Alliance, I think, even do it too. Ragnarok prep again. Pound, deal two damage to a creature with one splash and Amber Pip. Might Club, we've seen. Action ready and enrage a creature. Krog the Clumsy with a draw card. Splash attack two. So the neighbors of the things he hits has two damage. Berserker Slam. Play deal four damage to a flank creature. If this damage destroys that creature, its controller loses one amber. Another one. Volka. I love the rock theme that they're going with for Robnar. That makes me actually like him again. It's another of the hardcore rockers. Hmm. So if you've got a whole deck that's got like the the band. <laughs> Each friendly Brobnar creature gains splash attack one. Nice. Okay, here's where things get bonkers. Now I see it. So this would count as a Brobnar creature. You generate all these tokens. This also, as a skirmisher, gains splash attack one. Hmm. So it takes no damage when it attacks, and it splashes on the stuff. That's oh. messed up. <laughs> Vow of Blood. Enhancer. Play. Deal two damage to each damaged enemy creature. We've seen that earlier. Shattered Throne Artifact with an Amber Pip. After creatures used to fight, it captures one Amber. That's yours and your opponent's. Iron Obelisk. Your opponent's keys cost plus one for each friendly damaged Brobnar creature. Those are interesting together that's a lot of control yeah i don't know if this deck's really great but the brobnar was impressive actually there's a lot of splash i've noticed oh my goodness splash for days it's like nope nope we're splashing splash again everybody gets damaged. yeah splash one more time um all right here we go for our next one we'll have to sleeve some of these decks up to to get in here all right, I'm just hiding the cards so we can actually show this. Uh, Unfathomable, Brobnar, and Star Alliance. It seems like Brobnar has been in every deck so far I've opened. It has. Every single one. Uh, the name of the other one? Admin Osfeld, the Uranium Tentacle. The Uranium Tentacle? <laughs> the Uranium Tentacle. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do with that. That's hilarious. All right, and we got a Brobnar. That's a big Brobnar token creature. Yeah, it looks I'm chunky. a little I'm a little scared of that one. You know, we're just going to go blind into this and see what we get here. Berserker. That's your token creature is a 5 power ready and enrage. Inners play ready and enrage after fight destroy berserker. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. All right. No. Nah. <laughs> okay. So you have to fight with him if at all anything. Okay. All right. Toxicuda Venom we've seen with an enhancement. Creature gains poison. Good. Kelp Minder. There's an enhancer. Five power. Initiation. Play. Make a token creature. If you have fewer than four cards in your hand, archive initiation. So get yourself down to four or fewer cards and just make sure so you can keep archiving this and bringing it back. That's ridiculous. I like this, actually. Crushing deep. It's Mars people getting crushed. <laughs> Play. During your opponent's next turn, keys cost plus three for each forged key they have. So that gets up to a plus six if they already have two keys. So it's a 12 cost. That's that's a good card. Befuddle. All right. Play. Choose a house on your opponent's identity card. During their next turn, they cannot play cards of other houses. So you're forcing them... That's a weird way to just say they have to play cards from that chosen house. It's a they, really weird way to they say like, that. They like tossing the collection words. Yeah. That's so bizarre. Okay. But I'm not going to point, I like, keep saying the, the pips up here unless it's an enhance. So another befuddle. Man, that's strong. It's like the missile Bubbles. <laughs> Five power. Bubbles. Bubbles been working out. <laughs> 
play. Put an enemy creature on top of its owner's deck. That's nasty. I mean, that's basically killing it because it's it's going to have to wait a turn before it comes back. Mm-hmm. That's nasty. Watch your step. And you can mess up their turn order because then you could put something in that they didn't want to call for a little while again. You're not wrong. Man. Watch your step. Play. Choose a house on your opponent's identity card. If they do not choose that house as their active house during their next turn, make two token creatures and ready them. <laughs> but why are they readied? Oh, because they come in exhausted and otherwise they wouldn't yeah. come in. So it's not your turn. That's good. Good call. Good call. Yep. yep. Faisaloha? What is... What am I looking at? Squidward. That thing is creepy. Squidward. Yeah. 4-1. <laughs> Enhancer. Damage creatures do not ready during the ready card step. So if anything is damaged, it doesn't ready up. All that thing's out. Cop the, the koi fish again with the enhancement. Opponent cannot play more than one card of each type. Action artifact creature upgrade each turn. Another one. Rust Miser. Ooh. With the capture pip. After reap, exhaust each enemy artifact. Nice. Five power. I like the five power. All right. Secure droid. Did we already see those? We did. So we it's got taunt and we played as a creature or an artifact. Another one. Scout Chief Cor- Corrigier. Alien and he's Crixix. Cool. He's a cricket. Ha ha ha. Play. Make a token creature. Man, these token creatures are bonkers. After fight, after reap, make a token creature. Oh, he's a teleporter chief. <laughs> That's funny. Red alert, we've seen. Pyro. Pyro. I love this artwork. That is so cool. Three power. Splash attack three. So he's a three power with splash three. So he's dealing nine damage. Yes, Pyro may be played as an upgrade instead of a creature with a Texas mm. creature gains splash attack three. <laughs> what? Mm. Okay, what? Right? what? Mm. Friendly guide we just saw, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Echo Reflector, your this creature gains your opponent's keys cost plus three. CPO Zytar we just saw as well. Enhancer. Gany Mead Outpost. Put a friendly creature on the bottom of its owner's deck. This is an artifact. If you do, archive two cards. Whoo! It's pretty good. So you get rid of something not that you don't need right then. Like a token creature. Supposedly. <laughs> Maybe. Supposedly. This creature... Okay, F F O F transponder. It's like SOS, but not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this creature gains destroyed. Make a token creature. Attach FOF transponder to that creature. But these get destroyed every time. They fight, which means this is always going to be making another token creature and just keeping attaching when they're destroyed. You'd have to purge them. That's stupid. That is so stupid. I love it. Uh, Camaraderie. This is creepy. That dude, that dude is just, he's killing them people. Two damage pip enhancements. Play exhaust a friendly Star Alliance creature. If you do, draw two cards for each of its non-Star Alliance neighbors. So up to four card draw. Plus all this crap. That card could get nasty. A draw a card upgrade here. This is the rare. The Ulfbert device. <laughs> on yes. it. Each player cannot choose the same active house they chose on their previous turn. Okay. Ooh. That's ridiculous. All right, we're into. <gasps> I didn't even look. Sad. We've got a maverick. Oh. This isn't supposed to be in this house. Sad. It's got to be the uh, the the new the Inquidens buggy vehicle. I'm guessing. Yeah, it should be. Action: Return a friendly creature. It's an artifact to its owner's hand. If you do, you may play a non-Equidin creature from your hand, and it's a maverick, so it's non-Equidin now. So then it can activate Brobnar stuff. Or you could just play anything. So there's no Equidens in here at all. So you could just play anything else in your hand. That's actually really cool. What a fun... Okay, this is this is staying in my ownership. Because this deck is just hilarious. Rant. <laughs> Rant and Rive. Play. If your opponent has eight or more Amber, they lose half their Amber rounding down the loss. That could be good. Another one. Eh. Ragnarok prep we've seen. Might Club. This has been in like every deck of Bromner we've opened. Yeah. It's a common, so I guess that makes sense. Krog yeah. the Clumsy. 
Krog the Clumsy. Dang, that's two of him. He's good. And Brick Nasty we saw earlier, but after another friendly Bobner creature fights, gain one amber net. Krog the Clumsy? That thing's going to fight. Vow of Blood with an enhancement. <laughs> wonder if he enhanced himself. <laughs> Hebe the Huge with a draw card pip. Play do two damage to each other undamaged creature. Feats of Strength. Uh, damage pip. Play for the remainder of the turn. Each time an enemy creature is destroyed in a fight, make a token creature. And these interplay ready and enraged. And if they're destroyed in a fight, make a token creature. Do you see the chain here? Kind of. So these come in ready and enraged. Yep. They must fight. When they are when they, they fight, they get destroyed after the fight, even if they survive. Mm -hmm. But then if you had this played, if it's destroyed in a fight, make a token creature. Do it again. Make a token creature. Do it again. And I think it's up to six times you can do this. That deck is broken. That's scary. This this is a scary deck. All right, here's our rare. Revna Star Song. That's a great artwork, actually. Each friendly berserker loses all after fight effects. The berserker is the generic card, the token creature. Yeah. She she makes them lose their they get killed instantly. Oh. See if you place that you could screw over your the Okay. <laughs> Brobnar's Bra over here like <laughs> I I am not a fan of Brobnar, but Early this fire. this deck <laughs> makes me kind of a fan of Brobnar. <laughs> what in the world? This is dumb. That is fire. I'm not gonna lie, we gotta try that deck. <laughs> I don't even care if I don't use it. I just wanna see it. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> what a Brobnar, like what a rare. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, Dude, that's disgusting. That uh, uh oh, here's a pretty one. Ooh, and Brobnar again. Six decks in a row of Brobnar. It's biased. Healy the Fraud of Bridespar. But finally, we get a Sanctum token creature. That's beautiful. All right. Uh, okay. Brobnar Sanctum, Unfathomable. We got a rare and a rare here, and that's it. What in the world? Dude, that's that deck is scary. That last one we just opened. We'll see how scary it actually is. Right, and it may not play very well because it doesn't have other things or something yeah. that we're just not seeing. I'm excited about it because it seems like it plays very well overall, but it doesn't necessarily gain a lot of amber mm -hmm. other than maybe just generating creatures so fast that it gains amber by sending them to the mines because your opponent's all creatures are dead. I don't know. That's my initial thought, and I'm like, I don't know. All right, uh, okay. Our token creature. Wow, Sanctum ones suck. They look really beautiful, though. That is the most beautiful token creature I've ever seen. Defender, 2-1. Oh, Sweet. Do? It stands there. It just stands there, but look at that artwork. That is beautiful. I love that. All right. So, I'd say my least favorite, but Brobnar is everywhere, and now it's ticking me off. <laughs> Especially after the last deck where it's like, wow, that's insane. All right, that Brobnar is back. <laughs> Sunk cost. Play. Choose a house. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. If that card belongs to the chosen house, make a token creature. All right. Skullback crap. Ooh. Look at that. Shiny. That, yeah. uh, poison. So this insta kills anything if it doesn't hit armor. Action. Steal one amber. So you could poison and fight something, or you could just steal one. That's a cool option. Like I like that. Maelstrom, play. Put each creature on top of its owner's decks in a random order. Gain two chains. Oh. Interesting. Maelstrom again with a capture pip. I don't know about those. Guilt, guilt spine, netcaster, enhancer, and after reap exhausted creature. Cool. Covetous Hima. Ew. That is, that is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> While Covetous Hima is not on a flank, it gains elusive. Play. Capture three amber. There's no Tide cards in this deck. You notice that? There's no Tide cards. You don't even know what those are, do you? Mm -mm. Okay, so Tide cards were in the last set, and the a lot of the cards influenced the Tide, and so it would raise or lower the Tide, and if the Tide was high, often you'd get benefits. And decks that didn't interact with it, they could still mess with it because the card was over here, and it would just say, 
you can raise or lower it or raise it for three chains because yeah. often they would get some good benefits. So you could still at least get rid of their benefits. It was interesting. So it allowed old decks to still interact with it. But Befuddle, we've seen this card and we saw it yeah, in this, this set with a damage or a capture pip. Abyssal Sight. Destroy a friendly creature if you do look at your opponent's hand and choose a card from it. The player discards that card. This is a really, really strong card. Because you can get rid of a specific card that you're like, they're like, oh, I'm going to play it, I'm going to play it, I'm going to play it. And you're like, no, you're not. Another one. But you have to destroy a friendly creature. That's the hard thing. Yanthi Ghostfin. Elusive. After you reap, purge a creature from a discard pile. If you do, make a token creature. Defenders aren't good yet, but maybe they become really good or something because of the, the Sanctum. Because yeah. that's what we've noticed now, especially with that rare chick from the Brobnar. Jeez. Stir crazy. Play each ready creature captures one amber from its opponent. That's yours and your opponent. Corrode. That is beautiful artwork. Play choose one. Destroy an artifact, destroy an upgrade, or destroy a creature with armor. Awesome. I love cards like this with choice. Okay. That was the rare. All right. Request donations. Make a token creature. It captures two amber. All right, so Defender would capture. That's not great, except for the fact that it captures. That's awesome. Pandolf the Provoker, Taunt, play and rage an enemy creature. Good. Pandolf again with an enhancement. So you could taunt the Defender to get your to keep the Amber safe. Nightapult? What? Action. The next time a friendly creature enters play this turn, you may have it enter anywhere in your battle line ready. Oh. That's, it's an that, artifact. That can be good. So we're throwing knights into battle now. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I also noticed these are human knights, so they could possibly key off certain things. That's interesting. Casil the Benevolent. That is a cool card. I like her. That's really cool. She's just an enhancer. Three things. Two, two. Whew. Celestial Gorm. Omni destroy Celestial Gorm. Return each other artifact to its owner's hand. Again, it's all right. Battlefield Evangelist. There she is again. 3-2, after fight, make a token creature. Hadris Wall. Each friendly flank creature gets plus two power. Another... See if you do the right and you put Did you... him on the edge. Yeah. These both. He become a six. Yeah. Or whatever's on the flank. Yeah. And the third one. See, there it is. Oh, there my is. word. <laughs> Sanctum over here be like, you know what? And we still have, we have a rare in Sanctum. Um, Baldrick the Bold is an old card, but for fight, if the creature Baldrick the Bold fights his most powerful enemy creature, gain two. Maybe that's set like five. I don't know. Four. Four. Cool. Numquid the Fair. All right. This is the rare. Play. Destroy an enemy creature. Repeat this effect if your opponent still controls more creatures than you. How many times do you get to repeat it? I would say probably just once because that's what they've ruled on the other cards, but Interesting. I don't know that this is like a super strong deck, but that Hadris Wall thing yeah. of flank creatures just going bonkers, you're going to have... What card was it that was like super high powered? I can't think of it. There, From I, what set? Yeah. Um, it, was, it was these guys. That yeah, was. Saurians would be good. Shock Herder, the three power, deploy, play, ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Shock Herder again, this time without a pip. Enhancement, Jarl Sven with the damage pip. After an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Jarl Sven, make a token creature, which is the defender. Not great, but again, fresh marks, destroy a friendly creature if you do exalt three enemy creatures. Good. Fire Spitter with a damage pip. Before fight, deal one damage to each enemy creature. Fire Spitter again. Krog the Clumsy. Bumpsy, he's back. Your opponent loses one amber when you play him. Good. Brick Nasty's back with a capture icon, and they gain. he gains one amber for you. Vow of Blood we've seen, but play do damage to each damaged creature, enemy creature. Smith, gain two amber if you control more creatures than your opponent with an amber already on it. Blood of Titans is the last card, plus five power. This is just really strong as far as numbers deck. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. all of a sudden these defenders, it doesn't sound good, but then you're like, Hadris Wall, Hadris Wall, Hadris Wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play well, and this. <laughs> what's funny is, like, okay, Krog the Clumsy is on your, your flank. Hadris Wall, each friendly flank creature gets plus two power. That would put him up six power if you had all three of those out. That's a 13 power boy. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, wait, what's happening? Um, yeah, I hit you with my guy that's 13 power. Um, yeah, overall, I think 
uh, that middle deck was definitely the one that's going to be of mm-hmm. note. But this deck is fascinating. I, I'm kind of excited for this one. I just wish I didn't have Brobnar in every deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stupid. Too much Brobnar. <laughs> All right, I've been Cody from the Keepers of Nerdum, and my friends have joined me here. Thank you guys. This has been fun, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye.